What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Me and Katie are just going for a 5k run. Something a little bit shorter because gonna drop her off at the airport this morning and then gonna take you guys on a bike ride around Kurumban Valley on the Gold Coast, which is a pretty nice spot that we've been going. So that should be nice, but yeah, we're in a little bit of a rush. So we're doing a little run first, then we'll head off and later on, we'll get a gym session in as well. But it's a pretty nice morning. <laughs> See you guys soon. We are done. Five kilometers, 26, 13, 5, 14 per kilometer and heart rate we'll see in a minute come on average heart rate 139 so nice and easy so good way to start the day we're going to go inside have some breakfast and then we'll head off to the airport Make sure I've got a go gel on me as well, which I'll take about halfway on that ride. And then we obviously got the G on M Sport in that bottle and then just normal water in the other bottle there. So um, yeah, I like to have normal water as well as G1M. Just um, sometimes you get a bit thirsty, just drinking the G1M makes your mouth a bit sticky. So it's good to have normal water with you as well. All right guys, pretty much ready to head off. So yeah, shall see you guys um, down near Corumban. We'll get the bike ready and then we'll head off on the ride. We have arrived, we're just down at Palm Beach Dog Park. It's right um, right near the beach. And yeah, this is pretty much where we're gonna start off. We're gonna get the bike all um, ready. It's in the back there. I put it in there last night so it was ready to go. Got all the gear, so yeah, we'll put this bike together and then we'll get going. About to take off. Let's do this. Let's go. Hopefully you can hear me okay, it's pretty bloody windy, but 
that whole way it seemed to be pushing against me so I'm hoping on the way back I'll catch that wind in this cruise that we got time at the moment 36 minutes 37 seconds distance 19.37 kilometers average speed at the moment is 31.7 so really happy with that got G1M in here we're gonna sip on sit we're gonna sip on this catch my breath for a moment we're gonna have this go gel and then we'll go all the way back a little bit warm <laughs> from the Sun but that's nice so on the way back hopefully by the end of this ride might be able to hopefully average 31 32 k's an hour which would be nice It'll probably probably be my fastest ride yet or maybe second fastest but yeah let's do it let's finish this off We are done. 40 kilometers. That's a bit loud, isn't it? Let me just finish up and we'll have a chat. All right, ride is complete. 40.47 kilometers, an hour 13, 32.9 kilometers per hour. That's good. Let's pack this bike up so we can go for a swim. Bike is back in the car. Sun is out. And um, we're gonna go for a swim. Because when you work for yourself, you can do these nice things. So, may as well enjoy it. Looks amazing, I can see the water from here. I'll bring you guys along. I'll take the camera out of this little case and. Go for a little search underwater, see if there's some fish around. Ah, uh, coffee, iced coffee, almond milk. I haven't had an iced coffee in ages. Even though it's been warm, I usually always go for a hot coffee, but this tastes unreal. That's so good. I only had that little shot of coffee this morning, so I need some caffeine. But um, that was such a nice way to start the day. Um, and I always like to make the most of been in certain places so like I had to drop Katie off at the airport this morning so like that's just a good opportunity to ride somewhere like this like mix it up go for a swim here because it's um it's pretty much five five minutes away from the airport and it's on the way home as well so yeah made the most of the morning and it, that was such a nice swim as well such a nice ride and even I was going hard that whole ride there was some good climbs and stuff there but my legs feel really good so 
Um, I might go train legs today, do a little bit of um, yeah, gym work as well. That will cap off a pretty good day, but I'm gonna go home, have some food, fuel up, and then yeah, we might head to gym because today is all about just filming for YouTube. Because <laughs> that's my job sometimes, um, content, which I love. I love doing what I do, and I appreciate you guys for supporting me. And um, yeah, that's the reason I'm able to do this because you guys support me, so I appreciate that. And um, yeah, just makes me feel grateful for days like this when literally just my work is to train and um, just enjoy it. So it's the best, but shall see you guys at home. We're home, we're gonna have one of these workout meals, Code Tommy, if you wanna try these out, they're literally amazing, all these meals. Look at this, barbecue, beef, mac and cheese. You can see all the protein, um, carbs and stuff on there. So these taste unreal. Um, obviously they're not like your super basic, clean uh, meal prep, but they're um, high in protein, high in carbs, and they taste unreal. So gonna have this, put that in the microwave. Gonna have this little cherry right, and um, then yeah, we'll um, do a few things around the house and get ready for gym. Pre-workout is made, shoes are on, Alice KD kit is on. Dogs think I'm gonna take them for a walk, but unfortunately I'm not. We're gonna go hit this gym session. We're gonna do legs. It's just gonna be um, not like a really heavy, crazy session, more maybe like a runner's kind of leg workout. We're gonna be focusing on some unilateral kind of stuff, probably like Bulgarian split squats normal squats, some kettlebell stuff, and then we'll hit the calves as well. So, shall see you guys at the gym. Just got back from that gym session. That was actually a really good 
session. Um, wasn't, didn't go super heavy, but um, I just don't have my strength in the legs at the moment. I'm still running a fair bit, riding obviously <laughs> a fair bit like I did this morning. So that's all right. Main aim is just to not like get really strong, but just build strength in the legs. So yeah, next time when it comes around to marathon training and that kind of thing, they're just strong and they can withstand a good amount of running and a good amount of volume. So yeah, that was a great session, but um, I need to cook a, another meal because it's nearly, what's the time? It's nearly three o'clock. I've had two meals and I've usually had three by now. So um, yeah, let's cook something up. All right, this is what we're working with. We'll have a piece of bread here, wholemeal bread, which I'll put in the toaster in a minute. Then we have some shortcut bacon, which I've cut all the extra fat off as well because it's just pointless. Fat is very high in calories. And um, yeah, you get enough fat from your other foods that you're eating. So I usually just cut the fat off that. Um, we've got three whole eggs. I'll use, sorry, I'll use two whole eggs and then one of the egg whites out of here, but I won't use all three egg yolks. Then we've got some avo. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat this one yet. It looks a bit brown. Otherwise, we've got another one here. I'll just um, obviously put a little bit on there and then we'll cook the rest of this up and I'll show you the finished product. Here we have it. That looks nice. Okay, before I go devour this beautiful looking meal, um, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video. Just gonna leave it at that, like a pretty much just a, yeah, full day of training for you guys to go through and have a look at. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoy doing just a full day of training videos like I'm gonna do the training anyway but being able to film it and show you guys um, just makes it um, enjoy it more enjoyable as well and know that I'm doing it for some other people not just myself which is cool but um thank you guys for watching um, smack that like button drop a comment and subscribe if you aren't already I'll see you on the next one